Alright, if you like Hondas and if you like cartoons, this video is right up your alley. So this is Tiny Q number 06. It's the Integra DC2. Nope, I thought this was going to cut through the plastic, but it won't. Alright, let's get this out of the package. So this is one of the pro ones, so it has a metallic base. And you can steer the front wheels around. And it's got this funky, like, Lego display case that you can stack up with your other ones. Although, for some reason, I can't open the box. <sighs> Sorry. I don't know why they... People can't just make a box that you don't need a tool to open it without destroying the box. At least when it comes to, coll to collectibles. Alright, so it's... Uh, Got the Honda official license there, legal jargon there. Alright, picture of the thing on the back. Then there's the Lego thing. It's got a side uh, cutout here for your fingernail. That comes out. And there's just a friction fit with these hooks here. I think this is a JDM version because I think in the West they had four round headlights, but uh, in Japan they had these. I believe, correct me if I'm wrong, I don't really know much about Hondas. Alright, but that does look pretty close, even if it is a cartoon. Uh, here's a kind of a side shot for the foreshortening of it. The wheels kind of match up, so that's pretty neat. You got the wing, yeah. And here's a rear view. It's got the two little vents on the bottom. Exhaust is in the proper location. Red badge in the back. Looks good. Alright, let's see what other details might be in here. So the first thing that gets my attention are the wheels. They're very nice. I mean, these would be nice on a true 64 scale uh, model. They got the H badge there and there. In the middle, the lug nut details are nicely done. There's no brake system from this company, but uh, that's fine. What is that though? Alright, whatever it was is gone. The Type R printing is pretty good. There's an orange here for this reflector, and there is a bump there. The door handle does stick out. It's kind of, well, no, it's kind of flush. It, I guess, uh, well, it does stick out a little bit. Okay, dark smoked canopy. There's a reflective sticker in the mirror there. The tail lights are printed, they're like a metallic red, but good colors there in those little segments. The H badge looks good, the Type R thing looks good, and then this is molded in, just like on the real car, Integra. So these have black paint, I'm imagining, yes they do, and they're, but they're still quite in a deep. Uh, license plate, nothing on it though, and then we have like a gunmetal gray uh, exhaust can here, it's just part part of this molding here. So yeah, it's a metal base and it does actually have the name of the car molded in, so that's nice for education. What's missing though is that there's no like copyright date, you know, so we won't know how old this is in 20 years. Uh, some tabs holding the back and a screw in the front. Uh, grip texture here in the tires. And then you can steer the, the wheels. You can do it that way, or really, you're supposed to grab this thing, right? So you can get some funky poses, or you can wind it up and the thing will do some circles. Alright. So we have some uh, ribs in black paint. Same there. A little black paint. And then the headlights look pretty nice. There are clear lenses, and it looks like there's like three LEDs or three lights behind there. I'm going to try to zoom in on this one. Yeah, there's orange on the side and three light bulbs. So that's pretty cool. The Honda badge is nicely done. I don't know if this is just a white plastic body or if it's actually painted white. Because on the inside it is white. But it does look like a different white actually. So never mind. I think it is white. Maybe it's white plastic, but they did paint it as well. It's really cool looking. I like it. 
There are different colorways, but for some reason I like the clean look of this thing with uh, the white wheels and all that stuff too. And then the contrast of the black and the vents. I think it's a really sharp looking car. Alright, let's compare it to a couple other uh, models now. Alright, I don't actually have any 164s though. So the closest one I think I have would be like this Subaru from 1994 to 96 and this is made by BM Creations. It's possible these would have been com competing against each other for, for customers. Uh, although this Subaru is a four door. So I don't know, I just don't have any uh, two door coupes of this era in 164. Okay. So I'm going to pull out some Choro cues here. I have a Celica here with some 3D printed wheels. Maybe that's from the same time frame. I'm not sure. And then I have another tiny cube, but it's a different Honda. It's a uh, EK9 Civic with the Jack's Racing livery. All right, so. Well, the Integra is not too out of place with the Choroku display. For some reason, I feel like the EK9 looks a little bit big, but my footprint, maybe it is the same. Yeah, I guess it is. <laughs> okay. Let's get this R2 unit up here that's red and white as well. So, again, Tiny Q doesn't let me down. I have yet to be really let down by this brand, so I'm really happy that they're around. And I hope they continue to put out some more castings, because I'll definitely buy them. I think they're cool looking. And then I really like the clear headlights, that's what makes them better than most Choro Qs. But they're uh, definitely less costly than the resin super deformed models out there. So it's a good place that they're, they're at. Okay, thanks for watching guys. I'll see you around.